Hi everyone, I'm Samir al Masri. I would like to start talking about digital transformation and digital change. The main difference between digital transformation and digital change is the new business model. Your digital transformation is always associated with a new business model. If you don't have a new business model, you're just doing digital change. And the relationship between digital transformation and emerging digital technologies is through your new business model. So your new business model should be built on the emerging digital technologies because the emerging digital technologies can empower you to do your business in a new way and can add value to your business, such as offering values, price values, customer experience values, and so on. Let me start by talking about the data science and data analytics and the difference between them. Data scientist carries out a few activities. So data scientists start by collecting data, cleaning and preparing the data, and then build model. Build actually the analytical models. Here is the data analytics. Here is the connection between data science and data analytics. Data analytics is part of data science. Actually, it is the core of data uh, science. After we build the model, we need, uh, the data scientists need to be able to interpret the result of the uh, outcome and need to be able also to visualize data and present data to the decision uh, makers to take informative and intelligent decision. Now, let me talk about the analytical part, the analytics, data analytics. Analytics has different level of maturities, and it starts with basic analytics, which is the descriptive analytics. Descriptive analytics uh, explain what is happening in the business right now, and the performance of the business and the difference between the performance of this machine and this machine, this unit and this unit. And usually descriptive analytics is connected to dashboards. So senior leaders, they can look and monitor and they can see what is happening in the business. The technique behind uh, descriptive analytics is the statistical method. By looking at the dashboard, senior leaders quickly identify some issues and discrepancies. And they ask why this machine is doing better than this machine. This is where diagnostic analytics comes in. Diagnostic analytics can answer the question about the difference in performance and why this happening, why that happening, and so on. This, this diagnostic analytic is also based on statistical method technique. The third level in analytics is the predictive analytics. Predictive analytics, it predicts any things about your business. Could predict uh, sales volume or predict uh, medical image, um, malignant or benign cancer could predict anything you need to, to predict, could predict downtime of the machine. And here you can move actually from time-based maintenance to condition-based maintenance. And guess what? Predictive analytics is based on machine learning. This is where we can see the machine learning connected to the analytics. And it is actually the main technique behind the predictive analytics. So when we predict something, the system can predict something for the business, but you don't like this prediction. So you would like to do something about it. You would like to change the future predicted outcome. With this, you ask the system, can you help me to achieve the opposite? I would like something else. I would like other outcome by the end of next year. And this is what we call prescriptive analytics. The system will give you a couple of course of action or a couple of option, each one with the course of action, 
and and at the end of the action you can achieve what you want to, to achieve the technique behind prescriptive analytics is uh, machine learning and business rules until now the system is not taking decision it helping the decision makers to take decision the next level is a cognitive analytics and cognitive analytics to simplify things it is actually the artificial intelligence so we can see here artificial intelligence is the top analytics the top maturity level of analytics it is part of analytics the technique machine the technique artificial intelligence or cognitive analytics is based on is deep learning deep learning is a subset of machine learning and it's based on popular algorithm called uh, artificial neural network so artificial intelligence technique it changed through the history artificial intelligence is not a new it was born in 1956 in us and it became very popular because of the new ecosystem because it's a new environment that new capabilities of analytics and big data for example